Crazy Pixel. <laughs> Horus is a game that, based on its name alone, commands attention and respect. The key art doesn't do it any favors and you wouldn't be faulted for not giving it a second look. The initial impression is that of a pixel indie game starring some lego looking robot, but this automation ends up being more C3PO than Danish plastic. A platformer at its core, this is a special experience from the mind of creator Paul Hellman, one that celebrates the fine art of video games, while also deep diving into the human condition, and now it's available on Switch. I took the fisherman's boat to the mainland. For those who've seen their fair share of movies, Horace takes after the oft-forgotten sci-fi movie Bicentennial Man. Much like the plot, our titular hero Horus finds himself a helper to a wealthy family who then gradually forges a meaningful relationship with his owner and the rest of the household. In learning his duties and purpose, he also becomes rather self-aware and develops a fascination for the world around him. For Horus, it really becomes about learning what it means to be a human and understand the human condition's plight. It understands life and morality. He also explores art in the form of books and television. Still, like many of us, he quickly realizes just how remarkably brilliant and unprecedented video games can be as a form of art and expression. Even when exploring such deep philosophical themes, Horace spends considerable time highlighting the and celebrating video games' brilliance. Horace himself quickly becomes a passionate gamer like most of us. It references seminal classics such as Pong and Space Harrier, and occasionally introduces playable minigames based on them. The sincere and heartfelt tribute to video games is something Horace achieves well without overdoing it. The first few chapters of Horace function largely as a tutorial. Still, you can't help but immerse yourself in the fascinating setup as you get acquainted with the protagonist and enjoy his profound observations of the world and human nature. Horus is a platformer for the most part, with plenty of inventive ideas in its execution. The core 2D mechanics are on point, as Horus has a clean weight and inertia that makes him easy to control. The game's early stages are all about navigating obstacles and avoiding danger. Soon enough though, Horus must be more confrontational, and the game builds up to its chaotic moments. The core mechanical twist is walking on walls and ceilings which creates some inventive and challenging platforming situations. Although the adventure begins fairly linearly, it eventually takes on a semi-open world structure. Horace finds himself exploring uncharted territories and doing the best he can to help strangers along the way. The open-ended nature can be a bit daunting and confusing at first, but it manages to instill a sense of discovery and achievement even if it feels like you're taking a detour. One of Horace's early gameplay objectives takes a dig at collection of pill that most platformers seem to rely on. But instead of gems and coins, Horus is set on collecting garbage. He's led to believe that collecting a million or so pieces of rubbish will fulfill his purpose and enable him to have a Pinocchio moment and become a real boy. Perhaps at the end of the day, whether they are shaped like coins, gems, or whatever else, collectibles in video games are essentially as valuable as, well, junk. Despite this, there's still something cathartic and addictive about collecting it around the world, as the objective of cleaning up gives this hero a sense of purpose. It's just so compelling. When all the different gameplay and narrative ideas come together, Horus ends up being something far more remarkable than the sum of its many parts. Sure, there's no shortage of artistically charged and philosophically driven indie platformers today. Still, much like the game hero, Horus manages to achieve this with a sincere and unpretentious tone. Things certainly start humble, but it organically builds into a truly epic set piece. With a bit of fiddling, I was able to get them to work. So I sat playing games with the kids until their parents said it was bedtime. As we talked, the man opened a bottle of wine. Horus can really surprise players when they least expect it, as the game originally builds up to staggering levels of grandiose ambitions, both in its narrative pacing and especially in its level design. Horus may start as a humble and meek little robot, but as the journey progresses, he eventually rises to the occasion like he was Iron Man saving the universe. Horus is a challenging platformer with strong core mechanics and inventive design, all of which gradually build up into something truly amazing and satisfying. It's homage to the heart and soul of video games as an art form and its deep insight into human nature all come together to make it an experience that is both memorable and important. Noisy Pixel is giving Horus on Nintendo Switch a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching, please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.